Hey guys, it's time for Facebook Live on Tuesday. I think this week I am back on schedule. Let's see if I can find you guys, if you can find me. This week, I had a hard time deciding what we were going to do this week. There's so many wonderful things on the retired list and it's hard for me to narrow it down to show you which ones are my favorite. Let's see. Hmm, I'm not seeing anybody pop up. Are you guys there? Let me know if you're watching. So the gift bag punch board is an awesome tool. It really is awesome. There, I see you guys. Hi. The gift bag punch board is totally awesome. And I'm, I, what, I had to really think about what we were going to do this week. And once I thought about the gift bag punch board. I thought, that's it. That's what we're doing. Hello. Hello. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys can find me because I can't find me. And, oh, well, maybe, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? What will Facebook do this week? That seems to be the question. I like to pull it up on my iPad so I can see what you guys are saying, but I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to work today. Oh, everybody breathe in, breathe out. Technology. <laughs> okay, so the other stamp, the other product that I'm really uh, focusing on today is this Climbing Orchid stamp set. And I always want to call it Orchard. <laughs> Climbing Orchard. No, oh, it's an orchid. It's a really neat stamp set. Um, all these little petals um, come together to build an orchid. And I've used it once or twice um, since it came out, and I've really enjoyed it. So um, we're going to make a little gift bag that features that orchid and I'm going to show you just how easy that gift bag punch board is. Now while we wait for everybody to find us let's just talk about a couple of things. Hopefully you guys saw my new classes for May. Oh my gosh I'm so excited about these classes and I took a picture this morning. I do three miles in the morning um, around my neighborhood Monday through Friday weather permitting and we have these beautiful cactus um, in our neighborhood that are blooming right now and I took a picture and I want to share it with you guys because I just used those cactus as inspiration for one of my new classes. Um, prickly pear cactus are absolutely beautiful when they're blooming. Well they're beautiful all year but especially when they're blooming and so I could not let the flowering desert stamp set go by without a class to go. So that's one of May's classes. Um, you might notice a few sneak peek things on these cards. Um, I have used not only a new die set, but also a new in color, Rococo Rose. And if you get this class to go, that card stock will be included in your kit. You'll have those pieces cut for you, so you'll be able to use them. You don't need the ink, so don't worry. Um, we're just using inks that we already have. Um, but this class features that new in color and a new die set, and I will have those cut for you in the class to go, okay? So that's class number one featuring, featuring the flowering desert. You're also going to get these sequins and a bolt of linen thread, which I am absolutely out of, otherwise I'd have it here to show you. Then the second class is the Follow Your Dreams class. These are going to ship together. I'm going to ship them at the same time. Usually I spread my classes out. Um, for me, it's easier so that I have a whole week to process one class, cut it, sort it, and ship it. But as we get closer to the end of May and the end of these catalogs, um, that makes me nervous. So I have, I'm making the cutoff for both of these classes on May 17th, and they will ship together. So that actually saves you on shipping, because my classes are $8, priority mail, and these two classes will ship together for $8. So you will only pay shipping once. So if you get both of them, um, this time they will come together. Um, so this is the bundle for the second class. I have loved this since I saw it when it came out last June and I have barely used it. So I could not let it go without designing some things. And in the process, decided that this was going to be a watercolor class. So this class has five different watercolor techniques. Um, backgrounds mostly, and then the feathers, the ombre feathers. So I see you guys are saying I'm frozen. I don't know. It's frozen. I don't know what to do. Well, hopefully the replay, when it loads back up, you'll have all of this. So you guys, can you hear me? But you can't. It's frozen. Oh, it's back. All right. Ta-da. <laughs> 
So anyway, this class is a, a watercolor. It's actually a technique class. Um, and there I filmed a really long video. It's 42 minutes long showing you how to make each of these cards and how to do these watercoloring techniques using an aqua painter and ink. Um, your class, this class, will include a whole pack of watercolor paper just because I want you to have extra to play with because sometimes when you go to make a background, it doesn't turn out the way you want it and you want to do it again. So you'll have extra paper to play with. You'll have metallic pearls and metallic thread in this class. So those two classes, the I'm calling them the... It, the dreams and the desert classes, dreams and deserts. Um, they kind of go together a little bit, but they both will ship um, the 25th. The closing date is the 17th and they will ship the 25th. You'll have the option if you need to add on the um, aqua painter or shimmer paint or let's see, there was one other thing, a oh, white embossing powder, which you need for the um, follow your dreams class. So, save on shipping, get a sneak peek of some in colors and some uh, die cuts from the new catalog. Both have video tutorials. One is 32 minutes and one is 42 minutes as well as the PDF, okay? So look for that. I've opened it up. Um, I have a video solely on that as well as a blog post that went up yesterday evening. So you can go and find that. You have to email me for that link, okay? Reminder, tomorrow is the day, May 1st. Everything is rosy. The bundle is coming out. Um, it's not really a bundle. It's a medley. And it has all this amazing stuff in it. Designed for the avid crafter. You get all of these product projects. Beautiful products. Not projects. Products. They're, it's not like our normal kits where you'll have a brochure and it'll tell you what to make. This is an open-ended um, medley. So look for that tomorrow. They are telling us it will sell out. Um, they are almost certain that it will sell out. So who knows? If you really want it, make sure you get it tomorrow. Um, it is $80. So it is a significant purchase, but you are getting stamps, framelits, two bolts of ribbon, a pack of six by six paper, a pa uh, eight six by six rose gold foil papers, the rose gold shimmer paint, some die cuts, and some really cool embellishments, okay? And anybody who purchases this purchases this from me in May, you're going to get a PDF with four project ideas on it for free. Alrighty. Okay. So you guys are getting fuzzy. It's clearing out. It's not it's coming in, in and out, in and out. I don't know what to tell you. I hate it. I don't know. I wish I could fix it. We noticed even this weekend that Game of Thrones was freezing. Okay. If you are a Game of Thrones fan, you know what that is like. It was freezing. So I guess I'm going to be forced to call the internet company. So if you're having trouble, I apologize. There's really nothing I can do about it. Just come back and watch the replay or it'll be on YouTube this evening. Okay. All right. If you share on Facebook, I will um, pick a winner on Friday for Fable Friends. If you don't have this set already, it is carrying over. It's going to be in the new catalog. So it's a great one. I've seen so many cute things with this. Um, so if you share the video on Facebook, you'll be entered to win for that. And then come back on Friday. Friday, I'll do three more projects with this gift bag punch board showing you how versatile it is. Um, so you'll have four projects all together that you'll see. But if you put in an order starting now using this host code between now and Monday at midnight, I will send you the make and takes for free. And guys, it doesn't have to actually be, you don't have to actually order the gift bag punch board or the stamps that I'm using. You can order whatever you want. Um, just as long as you use that host code, I will send you those make and takes for free. Minimum order, $30. Um, so over $30 and up will earn you those make and takes for free. If your order is $150 or more, which you can easily get to, especially if you're buying that everything is rosy medley this week, um, don't use that host code because you're going to earn stamp and rewards. That's free stuff. Host benefits is what we used to call it. And I will see your order and I will still send you the make and takes for free. Okay. All right, I think that about covers everything that I wanted to tell you. Now, disclaimer, yeah, I'm seeing it go in and out too, super fuzzy. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, disclaimer, we have a crew working in our yard right now. We're having grass replaced and landscaping put in. So you can only imagine what my schnauzer 
is feeling. <laughs> He's losing his mind. This is day two, and I don't think he has a voice left from his barking. Hopefully, we will get through it without with minimal interruptions. Okay, you guys, so this is the gift bag punch board, and I have told you guys many times that of all of the punch boards that we have had, this is the one that I like the most. It is, I think, um, the easiest to use. Um, our gift bag, our punch boards always have directions right here. It'll tell you um, if you want a small gift bag, a medium gift bag, or a large gift bag, and it'll tell you um, either in inches or centimeters how long to make your paper. And then it'll tell you your, your paper height can be between four and uh, 12 inches. Honestly, I've done all kinds of things. I rarely even look at that anymore. Um, so you can really just throw a piece of paper in there and just kind of go to town. There are several marks here. This is the side line, and that's for making the sides of your bags. And then there's the small mark, medium, and large. And that's how you decide if you want a small bag, a medium bag, or a large bag. And then there's this little pointy thing here. And, oh, it has an official name, and I can't remember what it is, but it's it's at the start line. That's where you're gonna start your cardstock. And um, let's see, what else do I wanna tell you? It comes with a, a bone folder, which is really isn't a bone folder. We should just call it a scoring tool. And you'll definitely need that. Okay, so I decided to make my bag black. I know a lot of people don't like black, but I wanted the colors on this orchid to really pop off. This is Flirty Flamingo. And I actually, actually use Calypso Coral um, ribbon because I think they coordinate really well together. So I chose black to make those really stand out, okay? You know what, we're not gonna make the bag first. We're going to, well, let me think about that. Do we wanna make the bag first? Yeah, we are, because I actually have done some of this ahead of time. I've done quite a bit ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me do all kinds of big shot work. Oh man, it's freezing on mine too. Let's see, okay, you guys hold tight. Let's see if I, pull up my internet and I turn off the internet. Let's see, I'm gonna use my Verizon internet. Sometimes that works better. Let's see if that, we'll give it a minute to connect. Yeah, Charlie is a grouch. He's a grumpy old man, that's what we say. He would do anything for us. He would, um, I mean, he and my husband are like the best of friends. All right, looks like it's back, I don't know. We're just gonna go, we're gonna do it. The replay, I promise, will be better, you guys. Okay, so I'm starting with a piece of basic black that is 11 inches long and seven inches wide, okay? We're gonna start right here at that line. Remember I told you that little marker? That's where you're gonna start, and you're gonna punch, and we're gonna do a medium bag. So you're gonna take your scoring tool and go down the medium line. The other thing you've got to remember is to do the horizontal line. And what I like to do, because I forget to do it every time I slide my paper, is I just do the whole horizontal line all the way through. That way I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, so we did that, we punched and we scored. Now we're gonna slide that line that we scored to the score marker and we're gonna punch. And this time we're gonna do the side. So that was like the front and now we're gonna do the side. And the side has a line in the middle and these two tri triangle, triangular lines, that makes the pleat in your bag. So it'll pleat like a gift bag. So slide it down again. Every time we're gonna slide our score line down to that little marker and punch. Now we did a side, no, no, we did the front, a side, and now we'll do the back or front again. So medium, we're doing a medium. Slide it down, punch, and then we need another side. All right, so basically you're, you're flip-flopping. You're gonna do the front, the side, the back, the side. All right, so do the side line and the two middle triangle lines. Did I punch? And now we're gonna slide it down one more time to that line that's left and punch. Okay, so that is what it looks like when you are done. Um, really, I, and I say this in all honesty, you guys, we used to have a gift box punch board and I could not make a gift box with that thing to save my life. It was difficult. I'm gonna trim this right here, okay, while I'm talking. And then we have the envelope 
envelope punch board, which is okay. I am pretty successful with the envelope punch board. But the gift bag punch board, I think is, is really just a lot easier. And I think maybe it's because you're not rotating your paper, you're just sliding. And I'm gonna show you on Friday how to make a box, how to make an envelope, and how to make, what else are we making? I have to look. Another bag, a gift bag with a flap over the front, okay? So, so you're not just limited to, you know, a basic gift bag. All right, so I'm gonna put adhesive right there on that last edge, and we've made a box, okay? So we're going to fold these up, and let's see, where's the front? I want the front to not have that edge, so that's gonna be the back, and this is gonna be the front, so that means I'm gonna fold in the flap that's on the front last. So I put a little bit of adhesive on that, I'm gonna push that in to those side flaps, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here and fold it in. So now, remember those sides we made? There are lines to help it kind of fold in, and it's it'll pleat much easier. Pretty cool, right? So that's just your gift bag, and you can make them short, you can make them tall, you can make them wide, you can make them skinny. There's lots of different sides, and if you look on Pinterest or YouTube and you search, search gift bag punch board, you'll find tons of things. People are really um, very creative when it comes to the, these boards. Okay, so now we've made the bag. Let's start with, let's start with our orchid. Now I have done a whole bunch ahead of time because it includes embossing and all kinds of things. So what I did, is I am using these little spotted orchids right here, and I have stamped this one and this one, as well as their small counterparts in Versamark and embossed them with white embossing powder. Then I did two big leaves, two small leaves, embossed them with white embossing powder, okay? So I've done all of that ahead of time, and we're going to get an aqua painter and some paper towels, it's kind of hard to see, and I can tell I scorched that one a little bit. I don't know, can you guys see that? I thought it wasn't dry, and I was watching TV, don't tell anybody, and I looked over and I was like, oh, well, yes, now it's quite done. <laughs> so those of you who always say, you make everything look easy, believe me, you only see the good stuff. All right, I'm gonna take Petal Pink ink, and I have taken this pad and pushed down on the back so that I have some ink in the lid. And then I'm gonna push down on Flirty Flamingo and I've got ink. Let's see, I've got some questions. Any ideas what Stampin' Up! is replacing the wonderful cutting products with? Nope, no idea. I wish I did know. It'll come, it's coming. They're making sure everything is perfect for us. Um, you know, they don't wanna introduce a product before it's ready. So I know, it's hard, it's hard to wait. All right, I am going to take just water and paint this with just water. And the cool thing about when you emboss is that it's gonna kind of keep everything in its place where it needs to go, okay? I'm gonna take the petal pink and just do a little bit in the middle. And now, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna take Flirty Flamingo and just kind of set it in and it'll start traveling through. Let's see, let me get a little, I think it already dried. Get a little more water. It will start traveling through that water and through those little, through those little things. I know you guys keep, you know what, come back. If you can't watch because it's freezing up, just come back. Come back later. The upload will be much better, I promise. And then I'm gonna call my internet service and say you have caused my Stampin' Friends to not see what they wanted to see today. Uh-oh, Charlie's getting mad. Charlie's mad at the internet too. All right, so for anybody who can still see, it's very pretty. I'm gonna do all of them like this, and you wanna get it pretty wet. And I'm just squeezing a little bit. If you squeeze too much, then you have too much water. All right, and then when you set that 
flirty flamingo ink in there it's going to run around and i'm doing it just around the edges so i want it to fill in all right like that thank you for sharing <coughs> uh oh <coughs> It's one of those days, you guys. I, uh, okay, Charlie, we heard you. Go, go on. He scares me half to death when he barks like that. Like we're under attack. We're under attack. Um, I took my middle daughter to the doctor this morning just for her checkup, you know, her yearly checkup. And she had to get a shot. She was very upset about it. Apparently it hurt. And she... So on the way back to school, we picked up Chick-fil-A and she got a milkshake and then she proceeded to accidentally dump it face down, top down into the middle console of my car. <sighs> yeah, so it's been a day. It's been a day. And you know, it's an accident and you're trying not to get mad. You're trying not to lose your temper as vanilla ice cream is um, running between your leather seats and down into your gear shift or not your gear shift you know it's not a gear shift anymore what is it called so it has been one of those days and I noticed that these guys I don't want them to hear me because they're right outside the window these guys working on the yard um, I guess either their wife or their girlfriend showed up with like a toddler and he's running around barefoot in the yard <laughs> chasing the rabbits who were hiding from him <sighs> yes feels like a monday okay so now i've switched to old olive and i am yeah it looks real blurry to me too guys real blurry i'm so sorry hopefully it won't get deleted like they have been, I don't know, last week's videos did not get deleted, which was nice. <laughs> it's very nice when they don't delete them. Okay, so now you've seen, I've watercolored all of these and I'm gonna run that clean. Let's close up our ink so we don't have any disasters. Hello, yeah, dairy spills in the car. Mm -hmm. Fun times. Now. One other thing you need to stamp is this, and you plant people, you'll know the names, the little thing that goes in the center of these orchids. I don't know what, what its name is, but we're going to stamp it in Flirty Flamingo, one big one and one small one. And then I'm just going to take my water and kind of just, I want it to kind of spread. I don't want it to look all perfect so that it'll match the watercolor look of these, okay? All right, so then you would set that aside to dry. But look, but wait, I did it ahead of time and I have a whole dry one. Now there's this other little stamp that looks kind of like an alien face. Whoa, my block is dirty. And see it? Looks kind of like an alien face. And I'm gonna stamp it on the large one. It doesn't really fit on the small one. So we're just gonna leave that. We're just gonna leave it. All right, now we're ready to die cut. Yay. I hope none of your dogs went super crazy hearing Charlie, Charlie's alarm go off. Poor Charlie. He needs his daddy to come home and snuggle him, I guess, from this stressful day of workers in the yard. All right, so here are the matching framelits. They don't come in a bundle anymore. When they were first in the catalog, they were offered as a bundle. Um, now they're just separate, and I listed them on my blog post today. So you can scroll to the bottom and you'll see all the supplies listed. So I'm just gonna get them all situated on here. I think we can get most of them cut. They are not symmetrical as you can see. So you can just keep turning them until you find where they go. This one is actually different. You'll notice when you look at the images that some of them are just two petals, some are three petals, and some look like they're the whole flower. I think this one may have to go later. It's not gonna fit next to that one. Yep, we'll wait. I stamped those too close together. But we do have these little, somebody probably has already said what they are. They look like alien faces. They go in the center and that one's gonna have to wait because it's bouncing around. If you have 
framelits. Uh oh, I hear him crying now. The little baby that's running around in my yard without shoes on. He's filthy. He's dirty because they're spreading dirt all over the grass. <laughs> Not my problem. I don't have to bathe him. Um, if you have framelits to jump around on your magnetic platform, just move the paper. Let the little framelit be the boss and go where the magnet wants it. Now, if you have a whole sheet of framelits like this, sometimes you can't do that. Um, so you'll have to wait and do it separately. So that's why I waited on that little guy because he did not want to go where I was telling him to go. The big ones don't do that very much. Mostly those little guys. Although this leaf seemed to to do exactly what I told him. So now I will be live on Friday, normal time. Okay. Um, two o'clock central over on Pink Buckaroo Stampers group. Make sure you've joined my group page over there. It's a group. It's not a business page. I know it's a lot of technicalities, but I will add the link when I'm done here. So you can join over there. Um, I will have three more of these projects on Friday, two o'clock central. Then next week, we're going to be off schedule again. We are going to the coast for Mother's Day. So we will be gone the second part of the week. So there will only be one Facebook Live next week, and it'll be on Wednesday. All right, I'll, hopefully we'll have three projects for you on Wednesday next week. All right, now there's another component to this. Um, there's no branch in these little framelits, these orchid builder framelits. So I've cut the, uh, <laughs> Debbie, yeah, we're down to 44 now. I know, I know, believe me, they're going to get a call from me when we're done. This branch is from the seasonal layers, and I've already cut it out. If I could find it, that would be great. Aha, seasonal layers. And I have also cut out a stitched rectangle and I have embossed it with the oh, styled stripes stripe mm, what's the name this embossing folder it's on the supply list on my blog and it's retiring too I know super sad I like it one thing you have to remember with that embossing folder is to run it so that your stripes don't go in like this I find that if I run them, if I run the stripes in my big shot like this across they, the paper tears, but if I do it like this, like bump, 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 as you run it through, they don't tear. Just a little tip that I have found. All right, so we've got the branch there from seasonal layers, and I'm gonna start layering up my orchid. And one thing I wanna do is take my bone folder and curl the leaves like this. Yeah, thank goodness for replays, right? I know. All right, and there I'm gonna put that one there. And then I'm gonna get the other big one and do that. And this time I'm just gonna add this one with a glue dot like that. And here's this one. We're just gonna kind of curl these bottom ones. I, on um, Sunday, was playing around with this set and I tried all different pieces and layers, and this this is the this is the, what I came up with. I embossed and painted a bunch of them. I was watching a Marvel movie while I did it, and now every time I look at this, I think of that movie. Isn't that weird how our memory does that? All right, here are the leaves. I'm going to just put two on this side like that and I don't know what orchid leaves look like you guys I don't know if it's supposed to be two on one side if you want it to be exactly right make sure you go google what an orchid looks like I do that sometimes when I really don't know all right now here's the center put that there and the center I hope I'm doing it is it does it go down or does it go up I feel like it goes down but you guys will let me know if it's wrong I'm sure Okay, so we've got that. Let's make sure that those are popped up a little bit. See how cute that is? Now the sentiment, which I did not grab a piece of white, but luckily I have some right here. Hmm, 
Let's see, let's use this one and then we'll trim it. Thinking of you, well, good grief, did I not even bring? Hmm, hmm, here it is. I'm gonna use Memento Black and I'm gonna do Thinking of You. And then I'm gonna trim it with my tiny little trimmer that is 100 years old. I always get questions about this trimmer whenever I use it. It's 100 years old from a craft store somewhere a long, long time ago. Before I was a, whoa, before I was a demonstrator and had access to Stampin' Up! stuff. Let's put that right there. Um, and it's a good one. It is a good one. It is um, still sharp after all these years. But I don't know. I don't really remember where it's from. All right. So let's put that there. And then we're gonna, whoops. I know, you guys, I'm so sorry. It's fuzzy. All right, trim, trim, and there we go. Look, now if you don't wanna make a 3D, wouldn't that make a beautiful card? Just put it on a black card base and it really stands out, really stands out. Okay, put this on here. You have an old trimmer too, Kathy? Yeah, you know those really old ones that if they last, they last. Now for the, the, the bow, I'm just gonna take my half inch circle punch and just look through there, eyeball it, if you will, and then take this beautiful satin Calypso Coral ribbon and tie a bow. You could put all kinds of things in here, but the sentiment says, thinking of you, so homemade treats would probably be the best if you're trying to cheer someone up, right? Some homemade treats. And homemade could be a, pa a, a package of cookie mix from the grocery store. I consider that homemade, don't you guys? <laughs> all right, there you go. What do you guys think? if you can see it through the fuzz. Mwah. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right, just remember that tomorrow, the, um, hello, I've lost my train of thought, the everything is Rosie Medley goes on sale. So if you use this host code, I'm gonna send you this week's um, Friday's make and takes, okay, for free. Plus, if you order the everything is Rosie Medley, you will be getting a PDF of projects mid-month. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging with me. Wow, there's only a few of you left. I appreciate it. Make sure you come back to watch the replay, okay? Thank you guys so much. And go over to pinkbuckaroo.com to get all of the details and the measurements. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.